I'm the Disc Golf Guy and this is my video blog. We are out here at day two of the Memorial Championships. We are at Fountain Hills, which is in Fountain Hills, Arizona, with a beautiful fountain that goes off, one of the largest in the country. And speaking of going off, uh, you picked up two strokes today on fellow team member Nico. Tell us a little bit about your round. Yeah, well, we, uh, we started off with a little drama on hole two. You know, I, uh, I threw it in the water and uh, it actually hit one of these, uh, the the, the cement so I, we didn't know if it was in bounds so we had to call an official and everything over there <laughs> but we got it figured out and uh, luckily uh, we got it over that hole and uh, nothing happened and I, I got I took a four my only four of the round there but uh, everything got taken care of wow so if you took a four uh, how many birdies did you have out here then I had uh, I guess I had 12 with a four and then uh, you gave me 11 under well, I mean, that's all right. <laughs> a very nice round. Uh, so you guys are tied at 27 under. There were a couple other really good rounds out there today. Uh, we're going back to Vista, uh, where you, you know, basically tore up that course yesterday as well. Uh, what's going to be, is there going to be anything different? Any kind of game plan or change or anything different tomorrow? No, if I, if I shoot the same round as, as uh, the first day at Vista, I'll be happy. You know, that, of course, that's what we'll be shooting for. And, uh, I know that'll, that'll put me in contention if I do that again. So compare the two courses now that you've played one round at each this week at least or thus yeah. far. You know, tell us a little bit how you'd compare these two different courses. Well, um, Fountain Hills is a little shorter, not as many par fours, a lot, lot more water, and uh, uh, Vista is is not as long is longer with par, more par fours, not as many much water, um, more open and. Uh, do you I have a preference? It, uh, that's the next question. Is you uh, gotta have a preference? Yeah, I think I, I think I actually prefer this course. You know, I, I live right next to Vista and I practice it all the time. But I think that might be why I like this one because I don't get to play it much, and uh, I really appreciate everything that. Uh, goes on here at the fountain. Yeah, absolutely beautiful out here. They've been watching footage and shots for, throughout the entire video as we've been talking. Uh, the water out here can be treacherous. Once you get past hole 9 or 10, you're pretty clear of the water for a while. Do, do you think about that? Do you take that in consideration? It was pretty, the wind was pretty low today, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't as windy as it normally is. And uh, I, I actually didn't, sh I, I only was a 2 under after the front 9 because that's the toughest part of the course. And then they ended up uh, birding the whole back nine without the water like you're saying so <laughs> so that definitely I took that into account and after after hole two I uh, I uh, fought back and it, it almost put a spot gave me a lit, lit a spark on me and I uh, kind of kind of let that fire me up you sure did it was awesome like you said there's a little bit of drama uh, but it looks like your your whole group got through it and everyone uh, played pretty well yeah. well with that being said we're gonna go back to Vista on Thursday it's been only two days but yet it feels like it's been a, a week's worth of action out here with so many good shots and so many good things going on so Ricky we wish you the best of luck Thanks, Terry. Uh, battle it out with uh, well your teammates and even all your other non teammates there's still a lot of golf we're halfway done yeah. and uh, sitting at 27 under tied with Nicola Castro this is Ricky Wasaki. I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and I'm not throwing anything in this disgusting water. All right. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Good luck, man. Thank you.